Hey everyone, great to see you again. Today, I'm going to tell you about Videoproc AI. It's really useful, and you should definitely give it a try. With Videoproc, you can seriously elevate your AI-generated content to the next level, thanks to three incredibly powerful AI tools it offers. Super Resolution in Videoproc Converter AI is an amazing AI-powered technology for enhancing video quality and upscaling. It can denoise, deblur, and boost your videos and DVDs to stunning 4K, while images can be enhanced up to 8K or even 10K, all without artifacts or losing any details. Plus, with the new gen detail and real smooth models, this AI video quality enhancer is set to give your low resolution or low quality videos and images a whole new life. With Videoproc Converter AI, you can easily boost your video resolutions to 4K and images all the way up to 10K. It's perfect for enhancing everything from AI art and selfies to animations and old archives. Enjoy your remastered content, whether you're printing it or watching on bigger screens. Another powerful feature in Videoproc Converter AI is frame interpolation which uses deep learning technology to generate new frames and increase the frame rate of your videos. Whether you're working with older footage or lower frame rate content, this feature transforms it into smoother, high FPS videos, perfect for creating fluid motion. Frame interpolation can boost your videos from lower frame rates like 24 FPS or 30 FPS to higher frame rates such as 60 FPS, 120 FPS, or even beyond. This makes it ideal for slow motion effects, gaming videos, sports footage, and any content where smoothness is key. With this feature, you can convert videos into ultra-smooth, high-definition motion, perfect for creating professional content for platforms like YouTube or even TV broadcasts. Another great feature of Videoproc Converter AI is video stabilization. It smooths out shaky footage, whether you're filming handheld or on the move. With this tool, your videos will look stable and professional, perfect for vlogs, travel clips, or action scenes. Now let's dive in and see how well Videoproc performs in action. But before we start, I want to give a quick thanks to Videoproc AI for their awesome support in bringing this content to you. Videoproc offers three powerful features, super resolution, frame interpolation, and stabilization. We're going to test each one, step by step, to see how they perform. You'll find a free download link in the description below, so go ahead and grab it to try it out for yourself. If you're looking to upscale, enhance, deblur, or denoise a video or image, start by selecting Super Resolution. Then, just import your chosen image or video into the program, and you're good to go. Next, Videoproc quickly provides a preview, giving you a clear idea of how your video or image will look after upscaling. I personally found this feature super helpful, especially if you're upscaling long videos or old DVDs. It lets you check the results before hitting render, so if you're happy with what you see, you can go ahead and start the rendering process. Check out the before and after results in the comparison window. The difference is absolutely stunning. The clarity and sharpness are on another level. And keep in mind, we've only done a 2x upscale so far. We can actually push the images all the way up to 10x. Plus, if you take a look at the top left corner, you'll notice four different AI models. Each one is built to handle a specific type of image or video, enhancing them in its own unique way. At the moment, we're working with Gen Detail V2. This model is ideal when you want to bring out those fine details, boost sharpness, and make your images or videos look extra crisp and vivid. Here's when it's best to use it. Enhancing textures and fine details, use this model for content where intricate textures, like hair, skin, fabric, or environmental elements, need to shine. It's fantastic for sharpening images that seem a bit blurry or lack definition. Fixing blurry footage or images, if you're dealing with low resolution or blurry media, Gen Detail V2 is your go-to for restoring clarity by sharpening edges and making everything more precise. Improving visual quality for close-ups. It's perfect for close-up shots where every detail counts. Whether you're in portrait photography, product videos, or any media where clarity is key. Content with rich textures. This model excels with media featuring detailed landscapes, architectural designs, or artistic images that need that extra level of visual detail. Whenever you want to enhance sharpness and clarity, Gen Detail V2 is the way to go, making your content look more detailed and professional. Next up, let's dive into Real Smooth V2 and discover when it's best to use this powerful tool. Real Smooth V2 is ideal when you want to enhance the overall clarity and smoothness of your images or videos without losing the natural look. It is specifically designed to restore imperfections, reduce noise, and create a smoother, more visually pleasing result. Here's when you should use it. Restoring low-quality or imperfect footage, 
If your video or image has noise, grain, or other flaws, Real Smooth V2 helps clean it up while maintaining the original artistic style. Smoothing out textures, it's perfect for scenarios where you want a more polished appearance, especially for photos with skin, landscapes, or areas that need refinement. Maintaining coherence and natural look, whether you're working with AI-generated art or real-world footage, Real Smooth V2 ensures the content remains visually cohesive and aesthetically pleasing while eliminating imperfections. This model is best used for smoothing out flaws and producing clear, high-quality results without distorting the natural details of your content. When it comes to the anime model, its name says it all. It's perfect for upscaling anime-style images and videos. Whether you're working with AI-generated cartoon videos or still images, this model is your go-to for enhancing that unique anime look. Next, let's talk about the ZYXD model. It's quite similar to the anime model, so you can use either one to upscale and enhance your anime style or AI-generated cartoon videos and images. Both models do a great job of bringing out the best in those types of content. Now let's jump into some settings that can help you get even more out of your image and video enhancements. One of the best things about VideoProc is how efficiently it runs, even on low-end PCs or laptops. Like right now, I'm using VideoProc on my laptop with just the CPU, no GPU, and only 8GB of RAM. Plus, I've got a screen recorder running and Filmora 13 open at the same time, yet VideoProc is still running smoothly. That's pretty impressive, right? With the AI models, you've got the option to switch things up since each model is uniquely trained to bring out the best in different types of images and videos. So, you can always choose the one that fits your content the best. Next up, you can choose between high quality mode and fast mode. If you're dealing with long videos or old DVDs that you want to upscale quickly, fast mode is your best bet. Plus, if you want to upscale and enhance images in bulk, fast mode is perfect for that too. In the model settings, you have the option to select the quality for your images or videos. Whether you want to upscale or enhance them to 2K, 3K, or even 4K, you can easily choose your preferred resolution right here. Next, you can pick the resolution for your image or video. After applying all the high settings, if you want to take your images or videos up another notch, just select the Enhance Video or Image option. Then, click on Apply to All. Finally, choose the format for your video or image, Hit that render button, and watch as your file starts to upscale and enhance according to the settings you've applied. Alright, now let's dive into frame interpolation and how you can use it. Frame interpolation is a game changer when it comes to boosting the frame rate of your videos, making them look super smooth and fluid. It's perfect for improving low frame rate footage, enhancing gaming clips, or creating those epic slow motion shots that just need that extra touch of smoothness to look top notch. To use frame interpolation in VideoProc, you just need to click on the frame interpolation option and then import the video that you want to make super smooth. Now, let's take a look at the settings on the right hand side. These are super important to get the best results. The first setting is skip scene changes. If your video has multiple scene shifts, go ahead and turn this on. Otherwise, it won't make much of a difference. Next, we have deinterlacing which is perfect for smoothing out the frame rates of old videos or footage that needs a bit of polish. Then, you'll find two model options, Insert Frame, which is the default, and Slow Motion. If you're just looking to make your video smoother, stick with Insert Frame. But if you're aiming for that cinematic slow motion effect, switch to the Slow Motion model. After that, head over to the Set FPS setting. This lets you decide how many frames per second you want to add to your video. We're going with the max settings for now. If you look closely in the GOP section, you'll see the original footage is at 25 FPS, but after frame interpolation, it'll jump to a smooth 125 FPS. Once you've dialed in all your settings, hit the run button to start rendering the frame interpolation. It might take a little while, but I'll show you the finished video as soon as it's done. Alright, our frame interpolation video is good to go. Now let's play both videos side by side to really see how much smoother it has become. Just a heads up, the video you'll be watching is at 60 FPS because that's the export setting I'm using, which means the actual video will be even smoother, about 50% smoother than what you're seeing right now. And as you can see, the original video was just 2 seconds long at 25 FPS, so it stopped after playing for those 2 seconds. In contrast, the version with frame interpolation played for 6 seconds and added 125 frames, making it significantly smoother than the original. 
It's a clear demonstration of how effective frame interpolation can be. Now, let's wrap things up by checking out video stabilization. And yes, it's also powered by AI. This feature will help us smooth out any shaky footage and enhance the overall quality of our video. To get started with video stabilization, simply click on stabilization and import your video into the program. You'll notice some settings here, but the default settings work great, so we won't tweak anything. Just hit analyze and the program will process the video. Once that's done, click run to kick off the stabilization rendering. It's a pretty quick process. Now, let's play the stabilized video and see just how much of a difference it makes. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial on VideoProc AI helpful. You can try out all these amazing features yourself by downloading it for free from the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.